Hello, this is Ryan, and today I am here to talk to you about layers on GIMP, or the GIMP, however you pronounce it. I don't know which, I think it's the GIMP, but anyway. Here on Notepad I have my little agenda for the rest of this video. So far I have opened GIMP, so I can take that out. First we have to open a new image, so go to File on the main window and click New. Um, a 640 by 400 image or any proportion would work fine, whatever you want to do. Alright, new image is down. We're going to create a new layer. So now I'm going here, I, my two box, I have um, paintbrush gradients and layers. You might have layers, channels, and path, paths in a separate window. Wherever your layers tab is, go to layers, which is the three papers on top of each other, and click that. All right. So you're going first. We're just going to open, make a new layer. So right-click on the white square and the bold word background, and click New Layer. Now for the new layer, you can title it whatever you want. I'm going to call this Layer Two for the video, and make sure it's the same width as your image, and make sure that it is filled as a transparency. This way, there's no background to it, and anything. The entire background is completely transparent as shown by the name. So we've created a new layer. Um, now I'm going to say something about the selected layer. Selected layer will be in blue. And in blue is the layer you have selected. This is where all changes you are currently making will apply to. So if I draw something on this layer, it won't be on the layer over here because I've selected this layer first. I'm going to undo that if that made any sense. Basically whatever you're doing to the layer that is highlighted that's what layer you'll be changing. Done. Now I'm explaining layers. Each layer is like a separate image on t placed on top of each other. That's why it's important to have transparent on usually on your layers so you can see the layers behind it. So whatever you do, like what I said before, to one layer, it won't affect any of the other layers. So I'm going to explain this to you. Um, I'm going to use the paintbrush tool on both layers. Remember, you can do this too. I'm going to draw a black circle on layer 2 and I'm going to click over to background and that will select that layer. I'm going to select a different color. How about a green? And I'm going to draw a square. And as you see that comes up behind the circle because of the order of layers. Now whatever layer is on the top of this little box here, that is the frontmost layer. You can click and drag layers around to put something behind another image, which I can't do right now because this is being stupid. Yep. Alright, now say I wanted to get to part of the square, but the circle was blocking the way. I can click this little eyeball here, and that layer will, dis layer will disappear. And you'll see that the eyeball has disappeared also. That shows if a layer is visible or not. And there I can see the entire square, and when I want to get that circle back, I just click that box where the eyeball was again, and that circle's back. Now I'm going to demonstrate how one layer won't affect the other. I'm going to select the background with the square. I'm going to use my eraser tool. Now I'm going to go right over the circle to erasing the back layer, but not any other layer. Now, I'm going on the square now. It is erasing the square because the square is on this layer I selected, which is the background layer. And that isn't where I drew the circle, so nothing is happening to the circle. Now you see my circle, or circle-like geometric shape, is completely unharmed, and I have a decimated square back there. And that's pretty much layers. We can check 
this off. Thanks for watching. Bye.